Hello and welcome to this Genshin guide series where I provide suggestions on how to build a particular character. This will include their best weapons, artifact sets and team comps. It doesn't matter what adventure rank you are, this guide is meant for everyone that loves Genshin and want to learn how to build their favorite character. So Rosaria the new 4 star cryo poem user will be coming in the upcoming banner and I can imagine a lot of Genshin players want to know more about her talents, what weapons and artifacts to use on her and which existing characters synergize well with her. She has an interesting playstyle and in this video I want to share my opinion on how to build Rosaria and what kind of team comps you can run her with. Before I go into detail, I first want to explain her abilities and constellations. For her normal attack she can perform spear strikes up to 5 times. Her elemental scale ravaging confession allows Rosaria to shift her position behind opponents and stab them, dealing cryo damage in the process. Shifting only works against smaller enemies. When you use her elemental burst, Rites of Termination, she summons an Ice Lance which deals cryo damage periodically to surrounding opponents. Her first passive talent, Nightwalk, provides a movement speed bonus to all party members at night between 18 to 6 in the morning. Her second passive talent gives Rosaria a crit rate increase of 12% for 5 seconds after she uses her elemental skill. Her third passive talent allows Rosaria to increase the crit rate of all party members except herself by 15% of Rosaria's crit rate for 10 seconds after she has used her elemental burst. Rosaria has very interesting constellations, both if you want to use her as a main DPS or as a support DPS. Her first constellation increases her attack speed and normal attack damage if you do a critical hit. Her second constellation increases the duration of her burst by 4 seconds. Her third constellation increases the level of her elemental skill by 3. Her fourth constellation regenerates energy when Rosaria procs a critical hit. Her fifth constellation increases the level of her elemental burst by 3. Her sixth constellation decreases enemy physical resistance that are hit by her elemental burst for 10 seconds. So given her constellations and talents, I think there are two ways to build Rosaria. One way is to build her as a physical main DPS and the second option is to use her as a support for spamming her burst and apply cryo. For both options I want to show you what I think are the best artifact sets for her, what the best weapons are and in which team comps you can use Rosaria. You can argue what I'm about to show you is sensitive to changes as Rosaria is not out yet. However, I think it still provides a basic understanding of how you should play Rosaria. The best artifact set for Rosaria will depend on the team you are running. In general, a 4-piece gladiator is the best artifact set for a physical build because it increases your attack and normal attack damage. Another option is to use a 2-piece bloodstained and 2-piece gladiator. This is a set not as good as a 4-piece gladiator, but it's more accessible than the gladiator set which only drops from elite and weekly bosses. A third option is to use a 4-piece blizzard set or a 4-piece polite set, depending whether you are able to freeze enemies or have someone to shield Rosaria. A 4-piece polite set is great if you run Rosaria with Jin Yan or Zhongli for example. If you don't have access to the mentioned artifacts, then you can use the martial artist or berserk set. For a burst support, either a 4-piece blizzard or 4-piece noblesse is the best option. A 4-piece blizzard set will only increase Rosaria's damage, while the noblesse set enables an attack bonus to other party members. An alternative would be the 2-piece blizzard and noblesse set. If you use Rosaria in a freeze comp together with another hydro unit, then you are better off using the 4-piece blizzard instead of this one. If you don't have access to any of these artifacts, then the best artifact 
are the Exile and the Scholar set. They provide an energy recharge bonus which makes Rosaria able to spam her burst more often. As a physical main DPS, Rosaria best in slot weapons are the Dragon Spine Spear and the Crescent Spike. They both provide a physical damage bonus as a main stat. In addition, the Dragon Spine does increase damage to enemies affected by Cryo. Both of these weapons are free to play, which is great. The tier A weapons for Rosaria would be the Primordial Jade Spear and the Staff of Homa. It depends on your stats which one you should go for. Try and get a crit rate to crit damage ratio of 1 to 2. The other spears are an option, but not as good as these four spears. For a burst support build, the Skyward Spine and the Favonius Lance are her best weapons in my opinion. As a support Rosaria skills very well with crit rate and energy recharge. If you want to make a 100% crit rate Rosaria build, then the weapon from the battle pass, the Deathmatch, is a good option. I advise only to use the Dragon's Pain on Rosaria if you want to run her with another Pyro character in a Melt comp. The first team is a physical team comp which features Rosaria as a main DPS, Ganyu, Beidou and Bennett. Through triggering the elemental reaction Superconduct you are able to decrease the enemy physical resistance. With the Cryo Resonance, you are increasing your crit rate against enemies affected by Cryo or are frozen. The main team consists of Ganyu and Rosaria. You can swap out Beidou for Fischl and Bennett for Barbara. This is an S tier comp. The second team is a Permafreeze team comp which features Rosaria as a main DPS. Through triggering the Elemental Reaction Freeze, you are able to stagger the enemies and apply superconduct to reduce their physical resistance. The cryo resonance allows you to increase the crit rate on enemies affected by cryo or which are frozen. The main team consists of Zinshu and Rosaria. You are able to swap Fischl for Beidou and Diona for Chichi. This is an S tier comp. The third team is a free to play alternative to the second team. This team features Rosaria, Kaya, Lisa and Barbara. All characters are free to play, so this team is great if you haven't got a lot of characters. The fourth team is a physical team comp which features Rosaria as a main DPS, Xin Yan, Fischl and Diona. Through the triggering the elemental reaction Superconduct you are able to reduce the physical resistance of your enemy. The Cryo Resonance allows you to increase your crit rate against enemies which are frozen or are affected by cryo. The main team consists of Xin Yan and Rosaria. You are able to swap Fischl for Beidou and Diona for Chi Chi. This is an S tier comp. The fifth team is a Melt comp which features Rosaria as a support with, together with Yu Tao, Saint Shu and Diona. Through triggering the reaction Melt and Freeze, you are able to do a lot of damage with your Yu Tao. In this team comp, Rosaria acts just for the Cryo application to gather with Jinchu to proc Freeze. The Cryo Resonance allows to increase your crit rate on enemies affected by Cryo or which are frozen. The main team consists of Yu Tao and Rosaria. You can swap out Jinchu for Mona and Diona for any other good healer like Song Li or Bennett because they are a great support for your Yu Tao. I think there are better teams out there for Yu Tao, so that's why I give it a lower tier. So in the new upcoming banner, Tartaglia and Rosaria are both obtainable, so I thought it's a great idea to make a team comp with them together. This will be a vaporized team comp with Tartaglia, Rosaria as a support, Xiang Ling and Bennett. Triggering the elemental reaction ray price will increase your damage with Tartaglia. The Pyro Resonance allows a 25% increase in attack for all party members. The main team consists of Tartaglia, Rosaria, Xiang Ling. Bennett can be swapped out for any other healer like Jin. The 7 and final team comp 
is an electrophysical team comp. This team features an electro main DPS like a Ching or Razor, Rosaria as a support, Xin Yan, and Diona. Through triggering the elemental reaction superconduct, you're able to lower the physical resistance of your enemies. The Cry Resonance increases your crit rate against enemies affected by Cryo. The Shield of Xin Yan also provides a boost to physical damage. The main team consists of an Electro main DPS and Rosaria. You can swap out Xin Yan for Zhongli and Iona for Bennett. This is an S tier comp. I hope this gave you a general idea in what kind of team comps you can play Rosaria in. I know there are probably a ton more of type of team comps. Let me know down in the comments in what kind of team comp you will use Rosaria. We have almost reached the end of the video. To conclude, I think Rosaria has a great potential for being used in a perma freeze and physical team comp. There are some alternatives, but I think these two will be the best for Rosaria. I think she will be better as a main DPS than a support, especially when she has all of her constellations. She is definitely usable in a team with Tartaglia, which is great if you're planning to pull in the patch 1.4 Tartaglia banner. I hope this video will help you to build Rosaria. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe and see you in the next video.